Last weekend, we had uh, technical difficulties with our live streaming, and people were not able to pray along in the live stream of the Mass with us um, due to those problems. And so, um, because of such an important time of year for our parish family, when we're um, pledging our time, talent, and treasure um, to support the parish, um, we wanted to share with you the homily from last Sunday um, as you reflect on how you can help us um, in, in um, support of the parish. And so really, um, last Sunday's gospel about the widow's might, um, giving all she had into the collection at the temple, um, really is an invitation to all of us to um, generosity. And Jesus uses this common scene in the gospel of people uh, bringing their offering forward um, to invite us to be more generous. As he was observing the scene with his disciples, they saw that many rich people came forward and put in a large sum. Then a poor widow came and put in her last two coins, giving all she had. Jesus points out that the widow put in more, actually, than everyone else combined because she did not give from her surplus, but she gave her whole livelihood, totally trusting in God. The rich people in the gospel are not evil or bad people. They are actually very good people who go to the temple and offer their support. But the, but the poor widow, she is a saint. Jesus is inviting us to be generous. This is a good Sunday for us to reflect on our financial generosity with our parish family. This week, every household will be receiving a letter from me asking you to make a pledge of your time, talent, and treasure to our parish family. Please be prayerful about this. It is so important to our livelihood and to our mission. Your offering is so crucial and vital to our parish family. I ask that every household does their fair share to help us to pay our bills. We cannot expect others to do the heavy lifting year after year, and all of us are responsible for supporting our parish to the level that we are able. I will also, also ask that every household do their very best in the situation that they are in. No gift is too large or too small, and every gift will be received gratefully. We are not going to do the in-pew pledging this year. But I am asking that you please take time to consider how you can support our parish in 2022 and make a generous pledge to help us by responding to the mailing that you received this week. Generosity belongs to our everyday life and our everyday living. We can ask ourselves, how can I be more generous with my church? How can I be more generous with the poor? How can I be more generous with those in need? How can I help? But some people have said, you know, Father, you ask too much of us. You're always asking for money. And it's part of my job, actually, part of my role as pastor um, to do this. But I hope that people don't think of my asking as a burden, but rather just an invitation to generosity. And I'm sure that you have at least some coins left over to share. Consider even the little things that we can do. I knew a priest, for example, who had 40 pairs of shoes. And maybe if we have a lot of one item, we could share that with St. Vincent de Paul or share that with someone else who, who is in need. Think of the many ways that you can be generous. This is just one way of giving and sharing what we have. Can you make a truly sacrificial offering or an offering that is a sacrifice for you? I believe that we can do miracles through our own generosity for others. Even generosity in little things. Sharing of our time and our talent and our treasure. But sometimes we are afraid to share and we are afraid to give afraid to be generous. We don't give because we don't think about it, or we don't give because we think our small contribution cannot make a difference, or we worry that if we give something away, 
We will not have enough for ourselves. But the gospel makes us to reflect today, how can I be more generous? Uh, God cannot be outdone in his generosity. And St. Paul describes this in his second letter to the Corinthians. He says, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of you, he explains, should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver, and God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. Being generous expands our hearts. And it changes the lives of others for the better. When we are generous, we create a space where we can enter, where all can enter, and be loved and be cared for. The widow teaches us how to be generous, but she also teaches us how to be true disciples of Jesus, giving our whole lives to Christ. A few Sundays ago, we heard Jesus teaching us about the great commandments to love God with all our being, and to love our neighbor. The widow shows us how to do this in our gospel today, loving God with her whole heart, her whole mind, her whole soul, her whole being. And this is an inspiration to us, how she trusted in God and gave her whole livelihood. And um, in a couple of months after Christmas, on December 27th, I have a... a a great opportunity to travel to Nigeria with Father Lawrence Operaji to celebrate a mass of thanksgiving with his family and all of his friends in his hometown in Nigeria. One thing that um, Father Lawrence explained to me is that mass in Nigeria doesn't take one hour. Mass takes um, about three hours and it, it's a very long time um, to be in church. And I asked him, you know, what are we going to be doing uh, during this Mass of Thanksgiving? What are we going to be doing that is going to take three hours? And he said that one of the things that happens during the Mass is that everybody brings up their own gift um, separately to the altar um, during the offertory time. And while the people are coming forward, they are doing a lot of drumming and that everyone presents their offering to God um, by doing a dance as they come forward down the aisle and into the sanctuary. And so I'm um, going to be working on my dance moves. So when I get to Nigeria, I'll be able to make an offering um, just like everyone else. And this is the image I have of us as we uh, make our pledge this week um, for the parish and for support in, um, supporting the parish um, to give cheerfully and generously and happily um, to bring that gift forward of our time and our talent and our treasure and being true disciples of giving our lives uh, to Christ. And so love just loves. God loves us and we love God and others. And this is where our generosity um, comes from. God has loved us and given us a Savior in Jesus Christ who gave his life for us on the cross. We respond to this great love by loving God in return, by giving our lives to God. Let us ask for the grace this week to be generous so that our hearts may be opened and that we may become more kind, more caring, more loving. And let us do miracles with our generosity.